dad's got a big one. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh it's a screamer. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Smith's Fishing Outdoors. We're back again with Joe Junior. Catching salmon. Just setting up right now. Got some fins brand. <laughs> yeah. I'm running blue. Blue fins brand this time, huh? I went with a different color, so if we get a tangle, that happens a lot salmon fishing. Unfortunately, you can tell the difference which one is which. Instead of just having a big pile of, of dark green line, you got you can tell which line is for which rod. It's, it's uh, a little a little tidbit, but anything helps. Next. The green dragon slayer. Sure. Green dragon slayer? Where do you want? Blue bubble. Blue bubble or green sl dragon slayer? Dragon slayer. Slay a dragon. This, this flasher is a pretty famous one for out on Michigan the last probably 10 years. Everybody makes them. Green Dragon Slayer. I had tape on the back. I don't know if it matters. We did a poll. I did a poll on the Facebook group of what people like on the back. Plain Chrome won by a significant margin over a uh, blow ladder or lead or anything. What's the name of that Facebook group yours? It's uh, Lake Michigan, Two Rivers, and Manitowoc Salmon Fishing Report. There's 3,800 members. Nope, 39, take it back. All right, drop this one in. How far? Uh, do uh, 130. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, 30, and then we got to put a weight on. 130, 30, and then a weight, huh? 30, and then a weight. How many ounce weight? We're going to put a 10 on the inside. We got eight ounce on the outside. This is 11 inch paddle. This is our standard eight. This is what? Most people use this is bigger, 11 inch. We also call them hubcaps. This is white dragon slayer. Just caught, caught one of the big fish. It was the 19 pounder this morning, and it's been really good for me this week. So a Twinkie rig are these little teasers without hooks on them. There's three of those, 15 inches apart, and then the fly with the hook is at the back. This is uh, 36 inches long, I think. No, it's longer than that. Oh, it's long. <laughs> I think it's 48. Here, check out how it looks long. Big one! Woo! Woo! Big 
What did that one eat? That's a Twinkie rig with the 11 inch paddle. Twinkie rig, huh? That triple one. Grandpa. Yeah. Now Grandpa gets all the rides. Why do you keep that fish up on the surface like that, okay? Come to back up when it gets close. Fly. What do they call that again? Twinkie. Twinkie rig. Twinkie rig. The only Twinkie rig we got out. And Salmon Candy. That's another bait company. They call it a vegan rig, but the original is Twinkie rig, so that'd be like calling a band-aid something else. It's a band-aid, you know? have been biting around 8 to 10 that's when we've been getting most of them on night trips so we're getting into the, the peak time. Go time it's go time Good job, Dad! Hey, you just sneak in here. Going down. Getting one at sunset. Yep, same Twinkie rig. That same Twinkie rig. We're going to pull it way, way back. And then wind up to go forward. Fisher, you want to help him? Not a 
jumbo. That's okay, it's a good fish. Look at Jack. Hand the fisher and they'll take a picture and trample with it. There you go. Jax. Jax. Jax, stop. Hey, hey. He likes licking him. He likes licking him? Yeah. I can tell. Cheese curds, you want some cheese curds? I'm good. Fisher? Oh, that's right, you don't eat cheese. There's something wrong with him. I don't think so. Dad's hooked up. Dad's hooked up. Ooh, Dad's got a big one. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh it's a screamer. Oh, that's oh. that's gonna be a good king. Oh, I just saw a jump wheel. You know how much this is. Oh, oh. Rex is Rex is excited. Oh, yeah, gets all jumpy when he hears that that drag go. When was the last time you did this, Dad? Well, I haven't reeled one in probably since. Here, I'll, I'll help you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You look tired already. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's. It's gonna be a good one. So Joe, when you get a big fish on like this, what's the procedure you like to do? You gotta keep the rod tip up, the rod back, and you gotta be ready for him to swim at the boat. If he's swimming at the boat, you gotta wind really fast. A lot of people think they get off. They yep. How they get off is they don't wind. Get it slack in the line. Keep the rod loaded. It's the most important thing. You gotta keep the rod tight. You can't drop the rod too far. You wanna keep it bent over. That's your shock absorber. For when the fish is going nuts back there, the rod's bending and keeping the fish out. Another thing that I like to do is the first 30 feet of line is mono, 30 pound mono. Uh -huh. So that's a shock absorber too, keeps the, the fish from getting out the way. If you just run braid all the way down, you don't have that shock absorber. Jax is like, when are you going to get it in? I'm going to try and net it from the other side. All right. We just been staying to that side. Another fish? Sure. Hang on, I'll get it. Sorry. It's all right. Oh no, it's into the No. Oh. How big? That's a big one. 
That's a big one. High five. You ready? <laughs> that went quick. This one was kind of a surprise. We thought it was just tangle. We thought it was just a tangle, but oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's on that pump rod. Stick your hand in the gill flap on that side. So that's where the hook is. Good one. Trying to get into the regular lines over there. Oh, excuse me. All right. Another good king. Nice one. 
Nice job, Dad. Look here, Dad. That's a big fish that could be bait there, and there's another little small mark right there. That's a, that's a big one. Let's catch him. Are you getting sleepy? No? No. Why do we? I'm don't ready want to catch Grandma to get one. in trouble with us. Get us mad. That's what you think. Yeah. Alright, guys. We're wrapping up the night. It's 10 16. We just got all the rods. Everything's all situated. We had a fun night out here with Joe. Got, we went five for five. Five for five and all nice big kings, too. Yeah, all kings. Grandpa had fun. So, uh, yeah, if they want to. Grandpa wanna, got two, you got two. Dad got, he got, got the big one. He got the one big one, his arm is sore, so he didn't want to whine anymore. In. <laughs> <laughs> they want to book a trip with you, where can they reach you? Um, my cell is 920-213-1637, or of course I'm on Facebook, uh, Facebook Messenger is good, text, call, however you want to get a hold of me. Is we'll good. put that in the description down below. Excellent. And uh, yeah, I run, yeah, I run trips till like the end of August, or middle of August for salmon, and I switch up gears and it's muskies till ice up. Well, Thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah. It's a good time. Thank you. Can't wait for tomorrow morning. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this episode of Smith's Fishing Outdoors. Please hit the like, subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next adventure.